Oh my goodness, are you freaking kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Oh, is today gonna be one of those days that I'm gonna get good stuff? Oh my God. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. Two days in a row, I'm at the Goodwill bins. Um, I had to come up and deliver a few things, so I thought, why not stop and see what we can find today? So let's go inside and see what treasures we can find. And it is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous out today. It's beautiful. But I'm late and there's no cards I can already see. Bummer. Okay, I think these are still the same from yesterday. Why did that get put back? I love that. I'm going to take that. It's Jim Shore. It's not broken or nothing. Yeah. I'll take that. I got to go find a bag. It's not good. All right, so those are still the same from yesterday, but that's awesome that I got that Jim Shore piece. Um, I just found a really cool belt buckle. I'm sharing a cart with my friend Jim um, because there's no carts available. Those are cute, look. I don't know if, would you guys want these, this pair? They're just handmade dolls. They're cute. Cute, cute. Oh my goodness, that's cute. She's missing her, oh no, she's not. She's Fisher Price from 1975. Mm, we'll think about her. We'll think about her. Um. Anyways, yeah, I'm sharing a cart with my friend Jim, so that stuff in the cart that I found a belt buckle and a little uh, another little gym shore it's like a little gym shore pilgrim My goodness are you freaking kidding me are you kidding me right now oh is today gonna be one of those days that i'm gonna get good stuff oh my god yes yes i am freaking out oh she's cute She was probably in this little frame right here. In that little frame. But she's all stained. It's really stained really bad. I literally cannot believe that I was just laying in this bin. Like. That's pretty. I don't know, do you put that in a plant or something? I don't know. There's one of those froggies. It's filled with sand. Some Mardi Gras beads. And then I see another 
Oh, that's cute. That's a wrapper purse. She's adorable. She is adorbs. Betty, how'd you get a cart so fast? That's how you do it. I know. There's a little kid's fishing pole. Okay, I normally like faces, but this one's a little creepy for me. The master. No, I wouldn't hang that on my wall. Too creepy. I walked in and they already had this row taken away and they're bringing it out right now. Bringing out new bins. He said, this is the one. <laughs> Jokingly. Because I always get the one with pillows. I always get the one with pillows. Hi, how are you? Good, where's uh, your friend at? So these are the new bins and I did find a few good things and I would have, oh, I would have got this. Of course I would have got this, but it doesn't make no noise anymore. That's so weird. There is a little kid in here being very self-entitled and yelling, being very loud. If I was his mother, I would take him out of the store, but. Oh, Omar, that's cute, but I think I'm gonna pass. Or I'll just stick it in a treasure bag. I guess it doesn't weigh anything. It's cool. Lady, get your son out of the store. Digging for treasures. taking away this small row of hard and going to bring out another row of hard, but it's just a small row. <laughs> this is stinking cute and adorable. I've never seen this piece before ever. It's a vintage glowworm music box. It, the music works on it, but it, it doesn't work no more. It's supposed to, it's broken. And it's really cute. I think it said it's from, what'd that say? I don't know, 1984 maybe. It's cute and it goes. Okay, this bin has a bunch of vintage dolls in it. I've got a few already. This one I don't really care for because her head doesn't match her body. Um, so I'm going to leave that one behind. I'll show you guys here in a second the other ones that I picked up. Whoa. See, she's old. But I, she's a big one, and I don't want to ship her. She's big. This one's big. This one's, see, an old one. See, there's a, oh, they're bringing out four soft. There's a bunch of old dolls in here. So, there's a nesting doll. I wonder if those were in here. I don't know.
Look at this board game I just found. Fantasy, a game for lovers. Or no, ecstasy. Ecstasy, a game for lovers. It's so funny. Get that open. Okay, so here's the lot of vintage dolls that I picked out. There's a few of them here, and they need a good bath and stuff, but they're cute. Look at all these people waiting for these bins right here. <laughs> it's crazy. This bin has a lot of Tupperware in it. I came back to the back. Oh my gosh, look what is just laying on the back wall. Let's go take this to the ladies. This bin is full. Oh, oh. oh my gosh, do you guys remember these? My mom used to have one of these. I used to love to play with it when I was a kid. Then you get your fingers caught in the spring and it hurts really bad. Lots of books. Spooky straws. And some mugs. What in the world? Is this like a knockoff Mickey Mouse with a smash nose? <laughs> no tags or nothing like that. Look at a smash nose. It's a big nose. It's strange. Right, guys well I have been here all day long I'm tired and I'm ready to go home um, I've got some really fun things in the cart so let's go home and get right into the haul all right well $37 later and we made it back from the Goodwill bins I got some good stuff today I'm pretty excited my sack is so heavy I unfortunately lost one thing um, when I was pushing my cart out the door, I had a really pretty black glass candle holder set and it fell out my box and shattered all over the cement. So unfortunately that didn't make it home, but I got some really other fun things. This black glass piece did make it home. It's really, really dusty. Beautiful, beautiful black glass tidbit, tidbit tray. There's no chips or cracks. It's just really dusty. There we go. <laughs> it needs a little bit of cleaning, but isn't that gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful piece of glass? Um, it is black amethyst glass, so I brought that home. This was the very first thing that I found, and I was so excited to find this Jim Shore piece. I love it when I can find Jim Shore pieces in the Goodwill bins. Um, it just makes me really happy. It's so cute and adorable. It's a little guy sailing a boat. Uncle Sam, maybe? I don't know. 
but pretty cool. Um, then I picked up this really cute boy angel. Unfortunately, I was only able to find one. He is from Japan. Um, you can see his sticker right there, but I was only able to find one. Mm, maybe I'll be able to find another one another day, but he's cute. I didn't want to leave him behind. I found another Jim Shore piece, a Jim Shore Angel. Really, really cute and adorable in good condition. So, picked up that piece. A hanky. One hanky in there. I think there might be a couple other ones, though. And another Jim Shore piece. He is a little pilgrim dude. He is not marked, but I think he came with a set that was marked. So, he's not a salt and pepper shaker set or anything like that. He's just a little figurine. So, picked up that little pilgrim boy. And then one single shaker. I found one old um, made in Japan shaker from, oh, and it's still got salt in it. And I'm spilling it all over my floor. Lovely. Um, it is an ESCO 1978. It's marked on the bottom right there. So really cute. And then I found, oh, I got a box that is full of salt <laughs> that I need to dump out. Um, this really weird pin. It's a pin and it's like copper and brass. So I just, I don't know what it, its significance is, but it's pretty cool. I found not one, but two. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Sterling little pieces. Yes, and these are marked sterling. This one is marked sterling right there. And this one is marked sterling right there. So, yeah, pretty cool little glass bottles. Sterling. I did find a fairy lamp. I was able to find a fairy lamp. So get this. Um, I wait usually. <laughs> I don't leave until the glass bins come out. Uh, unless they tell me they're not going to bring them out. Because um, sometimes that happens when they're not going to get, you know, when they don't get a bunch of glass. And yeah, so this fairy lamp's really cool. No chips or cracks. Um, anyway, so yesterday I was waited all day and I was so hungry. So at like 1.30, I was like, I'm going to go get us lunch. Me and my friend Alex. And two minutes after I walk out the door, they bring out the glass. So I completely missed the glass bins yesterday. But thankfully, I have friends that pick, you know, find stuff and put it in their carts for me. So that's what happened. They found me a couple things. Okay. Another, oh, here's another embroidered little kitty cat. I don't know if it's a little pillow for a little kid or that's what it is, a pillow cover. I don't know. Another hanky, another hanky, two hankies. So three hankies today total. And then my friend um, brought me another one. So thank you, Betty. That was sweet of her. This is going to go into a treasure bag. It's a tiny little miniature prayer rug. It says something about cigarettes on there. But it's a tiny little miniature. <laughs> I thought that was cute. So treasure bag for that. I found a vintage old slinky in the box. The original. The name's James. That's what it says right there. <laughs> slinky. And it is in great condition. It's an old one. So that was pretty cool. I did find a collection of vintage dolls because I know some of you really like dolls. So I will show you them. Her hair has been, it's, I don't know if it's been chopped by a child or what, if it could be fixed, but she's really cute. I like her face. I didn't want to leave her behind. So this is, I don't know if I'm going to sell these in a doll lot or a choice. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know if I should sell these dolls as choice or if I should sell them in a lot. Well, if you want to buy them, don't just, if you don't want to buy them, then you don't have to answer, but 
that cute little doll. These are all from the 70s and 80s, I believe. Now this one, look at him. He's weird looking. They all need a bath. They all are dirty, you know. They were in the Goodwill bins. So he had a battery compartment. I opened it up. It's in really good shape. I'm like, hmm. I, had, I keep batteries in my purse now to test items just like this. I tested him and he works. He moves, his arms and his legs move. He's so stinking cute and adorable. Yeah, I'll probably actually just end up selling all these in a lot, I don't know. They're so cute, vintage babies. And they're all marked, you know, they're, this one's from 1977. And it, this one is a horseman's doll. It's marked on the back. Cute little rattler one. Yeah, most of them are from the 70s. She's from 1984. I just thought she was cute. She, let's see, she, I don't know if she's supposed to crawl or what. She don't have a battery compartment, but she's cute. And then vintage hand puppet. Her name is Bernadette. It reminds me of Penny Sue's dog. My friend Penny Sue has a dog named Bernadette, so <laughs> that hand puppet, this little old doll, it's on a wooden base, but look at her face, it's different. And I got a whole bunch of these wooden parrots. They're supposed to come with the rings and you hang them up, they're old, you know, vintage. They're wood carved parrots. I thought they were really cool. They're pretty lightweight, so... Um, I figured why not pick them up? You know, somebody might want them. I think there's like five or six of them in there. Oh, here's another doll. Here's another baby. She's an older one. Uh, more birds. Ah! All these birds. So there's, that's five. Yeah, five of birds, I think, total. This little duck um, clippy, he's going to go into a treasure bag because I just thought he was super cute and adorbs. That little girl, so cute. It's plastic. It's like a plastic ornament. I've never seen such a thing like it, but she's adorable. So treasure bag for her. Oh, these are super cool. Now, I looked these up when I was there before I bought them because I was like, I don't know if they sell, they sell for good money. It's a whole flatware set with the wooden and they are marked on the back echo. So, and they're all in really good condition. It's a whole set here in the bag. That was a good find. Oh, my friend gave me these. They need bass, but they're cute. First is the Pillsbury Doughboy. It's a rubber. They don't squeak anymore, unfortunately. He's from 1971. He's marked on the back of his head. And then this guy. He's so cute. Again, does no longer squeak, but absolutely stinking adorable. His little butt's showing right there. <laughs> He's a little boxer boy. So those are cute. They need baths. This is awesome. I love rocks. I've always been into rocks when I was a kid. I would sit in the driveway for hours and find crystal rocks that I loved. Um, this one I think is like a pencil holder or what is it? A candle holder? I don't know. I don't know if that would be a candle holder. That's pretty deep down in there. Um, but it's a beautiful stone. Do you see that? Absolutely gorgeous. And then somebody put felt on the bottom so it doesn't slide around because it's got like the rough edge and this side is smooth and polished. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that came home with me. Oh, my favorite, favorite piece. Oh, I found another wood bird. So that's six. That's six wood birds. But my favorite, favorite thing that I found yesterday was this. I, or today rather, <laughs> you're seeing that I'm recording this the next day, but um, 
Yes, absolutely gorgeous Lucite Owl napkin holder. I cannot believe that I found this in the Goodwill bins. This is totally my style. This is the kind of stuff that I love to find. The kitschy, eclectic, um, 60s, 70s, bright color decor. That's what I love. So I was so excited to find this piece. That was really, really exciting for me. It does have um, one, can you see where it's like, the Lucite is a, has a tiny little crack in the base. I don't care. I don't care. It's not, you can't even tell. It's like not even that big of a deal. Super cool. That was exciting for me. And I picked up a vintage Santa. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. So, so cute. Um... A really, really big belt buckle. That's pretty cool. It's marked on the back even. It says, what's that say? German silver USA. German silver made in the USA, 1988. German silver made in the USA, 1988. So I thought that was a really cool piece. And then this is going to go into a treasure bag. You are my sunshine coin. It's new in its package. And I just thought that was cute. Um, I found both of my boys, each a, the small boys, each a hoodie. So this one will be for Jackson, an Under Armour hoodie. And then this one is Ross's, a Kansas City Chiefs hoodie. Oh, they grow so quick. They're always misplacing their hoodies, going back and forth from their moms in school to here and stuff. So why not pick up those hoodies? And then I picked up a whole stack of linens. Now, this is cool. This one's my favorite. Um, this is a pillow cover. It did have a pillow in it, but I took the pillow out. Um, vintage pillow, owl pillow cover. Oh, more hankies. There is more hankies in here. A whole stack. And then a whole stack of embroidered linens. There's a whole bunch of embroidered linens in here. So that is my haul, guys. Like I said, $37. I don't think I did too bad. I think I did pretty good. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's anything that you guys are ever interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below as well too. Um, and I can let you know if I'll sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun at the Goodwill bins today. It was so much fun. Um, I got a lot of good treasures. So um, thanks for joining. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.